The Force is with you, young Skywalker. But you are not a Jedi yet. Hey guys, welcome back inside of the Plastic Planet. I am your host, Nick Knack, hanging out with you guys tonight. Guys, it's been a little over a week since I've actually put up an actual video. And I'm a little behind uh, behind in my game a little bit, but the reason for that is I kind of wanted to wait to get this particular item in the mail that I'm going to be showing off to you guys tonight. If you guys watched my live stream last week, Nick Knack Live right here on Nick Knack's Plastic Planet, you will recall some of the friendly bantering and, and sort, of, uh, sort of bargaining that went on between myself and my two guests, um, my good buddy Uncle Uncle Pat and my good buddy uh, Trav. And we kind of were going back and forth about buying a Hot Toys figure. I'll buy this, you buy that. Well, Trav went ahead and pre-ordered the uh, IG-11 uh, Mandalorian Hot Toys figure. And my end of the bargain was I had to pre-order, as if you might recall if you watched the live stream, and thank you so much if you did, uh, I had to order the Bespin Princess Leia from The Empire Strikes Back. Well, here she is. I'm a man of my word. She arrived today. In fact, this entire month of May is going to be just completely dedicated to The Empire Strikes Back, it being its 40th anniversary coming up this May 21st. And we're just going to be celebrating all things Empire Strikes Back here on the Plastic Planet. Most especially tonight, I've got this Hot Toys figure to unbox for you guys, and I got some awesome Black Series figures that I picked up earlier last week as well. And I think I showed those off on that live stream, but I'm going to show them off in detail here tonight. All right, guys, let's get to it. Let's get to it right now. Next, Plastic Planet. With your host, it's Nick Nick. Alrighty guys, well here she is. I have removed her from her shipper and here is the outside product uh, packaging for you guys. And that Diet Coke was left in there for scaling purposes. I say that all the time guys, I'm totally lying. I'm just actually drinking it and I keep leaving the damn thing in the shot. But that's okay. Anyway, here's the box for you guys. Give you guys a nice little 360 of the box. Not much to look at. It's your standard fare hot toys box. But nevertheless, really nice looking packaging. I, I've said this before on a few other Hot Toy uh, reviews. I do appreciate and dig the little sash uh, that the Hot Toys is, is putting on some of these things. This is a great looking figure. I don't think there's a lot of bells and whistles that go along with her, as there shouldn't be. And that sort of plays along with the price point, which I'll get to in just a minute. But let's get her open, guys. Let's get her open right now. Alrighty, guys, as we peel back the onion of all this Hot Toys fun here, here is the interior box art of the Princess Leia Bespin uh, version from The Empire Strikes Back from Hot Toys. A nice little tender moment she is obviously sharing there with that with that scoundrel, that nerve herder, Han Solo. Uh, I hope this is a hint that we will be getting a Bespin Han Solo in the near future. That's one reason I bought this particular figure, because I would like to have those two together. I think that would be fantastic. Uh, there's no way that's the that's the old sideshow Han that she's having this tender moment with, because that guy looks like shit. Uh, so anyway, hopefully we'll be getting a, hopefully we'll be getting a new uh, new Hot Toys Bespin Han Solo in the near future. Although to date, at the time of this uh, video, I have I haven't seen. Any indication of, uh, of a preview of him coming, but uh, I think he's probably in the works if he's being hinted here on the box. We'll see. There will be a substantial reward for the one who finds the Millennium Falcon. And finally, here is the figure itself. Boy, this is really, really, like, weird to see a Hot Toys figure with all this empty real estate here in the box. Again, I don't mind that, though, because the price point of this figure was a very affordable $205. I got mine for just 
over $170 shipped because I applied some uh, some Sideshow Rewards points, some that I had earned myself, and some big shout out to my good buddy Kevin who uh, who watches and monitors uh, Sideshow as they release uh, release coupon codes into social media. Um, he always keeps me abreast on those, and so I've I've gotten a number of uh, number of uh, dollars off some certain items, including this one, uh, all because of my good buddy Kevin. So thank you so much, Kevin, for that. Anyway, all right, let's get her out of the box, guys. There's a lot of glare in here, so you can't really see the figure. But again, it's just strange to see all that empty real estate, but it looks like we get a great, great stand for her in addition to a great Bespin backdrop. That is awesome. All right, let's get her out right now. Alrighty guys, well as I indicated before, this figure does not come with a lot of bells and whistles. In fact, she is very minimalist in that respect, but that's okay. I wouldn't expect her to come with a bunch of different hand poses, a bunch of different weapons. That just wasn't, wasn't how she was on screen for this particular moment. But here she is, looking really nice. The figure itself looks really good. It really does capture, I think, Carrie Fisher, the late great Carrie Fisher. She looks absolutely beautiful, very dainty, very beautiful. Uh, the figure itself is, it's a, it's, it's a great, great action figure. What can I say? Um, as far as the uh, accessories goes, like I said, there's not much to write home about. Uh, you do get this nice cardboard stock. It's got a nice reflective uh, feel to it, as you guys can see there. Um, that's kind of nice. That, that is like a nice polished floor of Bespin, but it's, it's a nice cardstock that, of course, will fit over uh, this display base here. The backdrop here, this particular piece, um, wow, I opened this piece up. And I was like, gosh, this feels flimsy. At first I thought, wow, does this light up? What does this do? And, and as I opened it up, I was like, this feels really flimsy. And then as I got it out, I came to realize, holy shit, this is fucking styrofoam. It's styrofoam, guys. I'm not impressed with that. There's a little magnet on the back, so it attaches in. So I guess that's kind of top shelf. There's a little magnet there at the base, so it attaches onto the base. Um, but so I guess that's sort of top shelf, but the rest of it is freaking styrofoam hot huh, toys. Come on, man. I mean, look, I know the figure is a little lower in cost than the average hot toys figure, but styrofoam. Oh shit. So that's cheap. That's crap. But other than that, I'm really, really pretty happy here. Uh, the soft goods look beautiful. Look how her, uh, her outer, uh, her outer gown there kind of flows real nice down there. Um, her, her feet look nice. I don't know. That, that sounds weird. Makes sounds like we're making a fetish video here. But no, I mean she's got real nice looking feet. They just, they just, the, 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 the look of them look great. Her, her shoes have some shine to them. Really, really nice. Uh, her hands, everything. Uh, you do want to be careful, a little careful when you're getting her out of the packaging. Uh, just because of her, um, her hair is a little fragile on both sides. Those, those, those those cute little frills she's got going down here. But again, very beautiful figure. Um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm absolutely really impressed with her. There's a nice side profile for you guys. Yeah, that looks fantastic. Looking really, really, really nice. Again, really impressed. Look at the embroidery on her, uh, on her little outer, outer, I don't want to call it a cape, but outer cloak here. Um, if this was a Kenner figure, this would be vinyl. Uh, but no, it looks it looks really nice uh, all the way down. It's it's got some it's got some uh, texture to it as opposed to the rest of the fabric, so it doesn't feel cheap. Nothing about the figure itself feels cheap. Just that backdrop's really cheap. But hey, I mean, I, I appreciate them giving us a backdrop. I guess I just kind of expected it to at least be plastic. But anyway, nevertheless, really good, really nice looking figure. I don't trust Lando. Well, I don't trust him either. He is my friend. Alrighty, guys, just a few minor more details. There is that card stock put on the stand now. And as you can see, it looks really nice. It does. It does have a nice reflective feel to it. It feels like really, really nice, shiny, buffed out linoleum kind of has that feel to it. Uh, you know, Bespin of all the locales in Star Wars was one of the more beautiful and one of the more uh, uh, new looking uh, environments uh, in, in all of the Star original Star Wars trilogy, if not the entire Star Wars saga. So it makes sense that this would be very polished, very nice looking very regal if i might say here's the back side of princess leia we didn't get to that you guys can kind of see uh just see how nice her hair the, the sculpt of her hair looks uh her braids looking really nice you could you could display this figure from any angle she looks fantastic and there she is again looking very very nice i saw a few pics of this figure in hand from a few other collectors and i wasn't real impressed but now that i have her here in person or in figure or whatever in the in the plastic with me 
here tonight. Uh, I, I take all that back. She looks really, really good. And there, I just snapped that uh, backdrop on there, that styrofoam backdrop on there once again. Again, it is nice that it does have a nice magnet in the bottom there, but you do want to be careful getting this out because this thing is just basically, like I said, it's styrofoam. But still, really nice looking figure. Really nice. Alrighty, guys, well, that's going to wrap up this little, little review of this Hot Toys Princess Leia from Bestman from the Empire Strikes Back. But that's not going to wrap up this video because this was so short and simple tonight. Uh, let's look at some Black Series figures that I picked up last week. And of course, these are all along that same theme, still celebrating the greatest film ever made, The Empire Strikes Back. We're going to be checking out these kick ass Black Series figures. I only picked up three of them. There are more in this wave, but I picked up the three that I was kind of most excited about. And uh, let's, let's take a look at these right now. All right. Alrighty guys, we'll check it out. Here's that murderer's row of awesomeness here. These Black Series Empire Strikes Back 40th anniversary action figures here, as you guys can see, look absolutely freaking awesome. I, you know what, this, the Black Series line, I have talked about numerous occasions here on the Plastic Planet. It's a line that I've never, that I've, I've, I've as I've said before, I've kind of dated in the past, but I've never quite put a ring on it. This is by no means a completist line for me but it's getting harder and harder to say no to these if you look at just inc how incredible these face sculpts are starting to look the technology that they're using these like digital face scan things they're doing absolutely awesome and i never had an r2d2 black series figure i missed out on him um from the last several times he was released or the last couple times i should say not several but the last couple times he was released on different variations so i settled with this one uh, which is awesome because I love sensor scope R2-D2, probably my favorite vintage R2-D2 ever made. So really stoked to have him. And just look at the look at the the, the awesomeness of those cards, man. They just look so awesome. Just really taking you back with the with that with that Kenner Empire Strikes Back logo there, and then the 40th anniversary uh, sticker there on the side. Absolutely stunning looking action figures in package. And I'm going to open them. Yeah, I, I got to open them. I, I just do. So we're going to open them tonight, guys. But uh, yeah, absolutely awesome. Let's take a look at the back of them just real fast. Nothing really to kind of celebrate here. They just sort of have that nice retro feel to them. Um, really, really cool. Again, this isn't a wave I need to get. I need to complete a lot of these. Some of these I actually have already. I've got, I've got Lando uh, from a previous release. Uh, and I've got Yoda from a previous release. And again, if I'm opening them, what's, what's the point in collecting them all? So again... Really, really cool. Really, really awesome action figures. Let's get just one more, one more shot of them all together here. Um, from the front. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Look at that beautiful. Look at the next to the Hot Toys Princess Leia. Oh, man. We are celebrating all things Empire Strikes Back this month on the Plastic Planet. And what a way to get things kicked off than we have here tonight. You will join us or die. Alrighty guys, well as you can see I have removed these action figures from their cards, which I have to admit was a fairly painful experience taking these action figures off these gorgeous looking cards and basically mutilating the card in the process. Very traumatizing, but I have always been a, a lot more of a uh, out of package, off card collector and to, to me collecting is is much more than just a, a visual experience it's also a tactile one um you know in lesser terms i like to play with my stuff but anyway i think these figures look really really dynamite for 19.99 a piece i think hasbro has really upped their game significantly here on these i think they look really really good really really pleased with them overall um nice articulation on them i'm not a big articulation guy either um, my real uh, test whether an action figure is awesome or not is how well it just stands on a shelf by itself uh, without it falling over. And I've had a lot of bad luck with Black Series figures in the past, just taking shelf dives and knocking knocking other Black Series figures over. Pain in the ass to display this collection is, uh, this line is, in my opinion. But these figures seem to stand really, really nice. The R2-D2 does come with a uh, separate, separate upper panel uh, insert that you can remove the sensor scope with. He does also uh, have a third leg that comes down. However, uh, this is not a good selling point for that action figure. Look how thick that is. That almost reminds me of the old Power of the Force 2 R5-D4. Not real good. Um, and when you kind of set it up, it doesn't look real nice, in my opinion, with that third leg down. You know, and that's okay. Not all R2-D2s need to have 
uh, three legs. I mean, R2 uh, stood like this throughout the films. Uh, and so I think it works for this particular R2 just fine, especially with the uh, sensor scope. So that's, that's fine. Um, although you do have to kind of turn his head over to get that leg all the way back up, which kind of sucks. Uh, but anyway, he does look pretty good. Uh, overall, really pleased. A few of the paint apps on R2 I'm not real crazy about, especially this whole blue line outlining uh, these two panel doors on the sides of him. Um, that really wasn't, that's not really screen accurate in my opinion. Uh, but other than that, I do like it. I like the, the Dagobah gook all over him. That's really cool. That's a nice selling point to me. Uh, the Luke Skywalker is probably the star of these three. I think that looks really, really good for a mass retail figure. That looks a lot like Mark Hamill and uh, really impressed them. I have a hard time posing these, but I got him into kind of a nice looking action pose. And uh, the Bestman Han Solo looks pretty good too. Um, well, there's shades of Harrison Ford there, no doubt. So he looks really, really good as well. So overall, really pleased with these guys. I went out and I found these at my Target store just recently. Uh, fired them up. Again, all three together was 60 bucks. This is not a line that I'm going to collect, uh, be a completist on, but it is nice to have these three at least. And I probably will pick up uh, a few more from this, this particular wave. Really cool. I'm not afraid. Yeah. You will be. You will be. Alrighty, guys, so that's going to wrap up this edition of the Plastic Planet. I hope you guys enjoyed that little review of not only these really cool uh, Black Series Hasbro figures, but also that kick ass Hot Toys Princess Leia as well. It is all things Empire Strikes Back this month in the month of May here on the Plastic Planet. And uh, yeah, I think we've kicked off things fairly nicely here tonight. All right, guys, like I said, that's going to wrap things up here on the Plastic Planet. Please like, share, comment. Please do subscribe. And guys, like I always like to say, life is also oh very, very short, guys. So stay in and order yourself up some plastic shit off the internet. Because, uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. I was going, I'd been really, really good the last, like, month and a half as far as buying things. You know, my sphincter was all tightened up like that, like a snare drum there. Uh, you know, with everything going on in the world, I was a little tentative to spend money, but, oh, man, life's, life's short, guys. So, yeah, it's just getting looser and looser and looser. And, yeah, and yeah, I've got this hot toy, and I've got another one on the way, too. And I'll be showing that off here real, real soon here on the Plastic Planet. All right, guys, like I said, it's going to wrap things up here. And you guys take care. Love you. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay happy. All right. Later. Bye. Brooke Shields, she's a beautiful doll.